In this scene, I'm at Deal Station with the old signal box and kind of thinking the railway lines make for good leading lines. <laughs> railway lines, leading lines. So coming out from the south coast, where it comes from Ramsgate or Margate, there's really no subject at the far end. Then if we look towards the station, we could incorporate the road and the signal box for the leading lines. Let's, let's see how I can set this up. So if I come at this angle, the leading line is obviously the curve of the train, but it doesn't lead anywhere. So it's not leading the viewer's eye into the main element of the image. However, had there been a train coming along, then we can use the train as the focus. So catching the train at the far end. So I've got kind of this leading line going all the way around, but there's nothing in it. But I'm going to take a picture anyway. <laughs> we'll see what we can get from it. So if I'm fortunate enough, you know, the barriers will come down and I'll have to stand on the other side back and capture the train at the far end of the line. Let me show you what I've got going on here. Now it does say that, you know, you should think about using 18mm or your widest part. So I've got it on F13 and I'm on aperture priority. And I'm as low as I can. There's just no subject at the far end, but I'll take the shot anyway. the shot from this side is a little more interesting because I've actually got the signal box and the train lines going into the station. No trains. <laughs> so I'm thinking low down, use the road as part of the composition with the signal box so you're leading the viewer out of the main element with the leading line drifting off. Kind of a reverse leading line, is that possible? <laughs> Not what we should be doing, is it? But again, drop down to take the shot. That's quite nice. Let's give you the live view so you can see what I'm looking at. Quite a nice leading line there, the signal box. So I'm actually doing a reverse leading line here, taking the viewer out of the image on the leading line. This could be a first. Let the car pass. I have to come up it to get more dynamics for the leading line and put cyclist in the shot. <laughs> Didn't particularly like that. Reverse leading lines, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Let's go find another location. I had thought I might try the station as well, actually. But there are no trains for half an hour. And I could actually be another one or two locations within that time. <laughs> so we'll go to the end of the platform. We'll capture the railway line at ground level and use the track as a leading line to the signal box. I wonder if I can capture the old semaphore signal in as well. There are not many semaphore signals left in the UK, but this station, I think there's one at the far end. Can you see it by the um, bridge there under the 50 sign? <laughs> Let's set up, let's see what I can get. So the plan of attack use the, the curved railway line as a leading line it kind of steers the viewer's eye towards the signal box if i can get low down and perhaps zoom in enough to kind of remove all this clutter at the front of the shot the leading line but i need to get as low down as i can to get the semaphore in at the end of the day it's a composition that has a leading line in it. So the leading line isn't the focus. Remember, we've got to try and capture, or at least guide the viewer into 
the image to where the subject is and in this instance the subject is the signal box so it's a question of is that sufficient and I think it is it's just low down enough but if I come out to include the semaphore signal you kind of lose the dynamic I've got three leading lines at the bottom of the I'm going to take two shots because I like the three leading lines. You've got three railway lines all converging at the signal box with the semaphore signal in. I'm not going to take the picture in live view though because I kind of cocked it up when I was on the other side of the signal box. But that's nice, nice blue sky. F13 at 50th of a second. I'm going to zoom in and just have the signal box with this line here taking us right in. Railway photography, oh for a train. And I might do some post-production just to get rid of the litter, because <laughs> there's always litter. Sometimes you get leading lines that are man-made. Take this footbridge for instance. Now I can see leading lines taking the viewer's eye up the stairs. There's nothing at the top other than blue sky, but it's you, you're kind of drawn into the image. So kind of parallel leading lines going up. I think it's worth a shot. And then also from here, if you zoom in enough, you can get a leading line just from the edge of the platform and the railway taking us to the bridge. You can have leading lines that are horizontal as well as vertical. For instance, the steps are horizontal lines, although it's not leading the viewer's eye anywhere, unless you zoom out, I suppose. Pedestrian's coming. Oh, so sorry. <laughs> That's all right. Get you all in the picture. All on different steps coming down. All right, we're coming. I'm going back. Oh, sorry. Go on. <laughs> I'm trying to do oh, a, a vlog on leading lines, you see, uh, and the leading lines are going up. They are. So it's not about, you know, street photography and people. But if you had some people at the top or down at the bottom, and there's half an hour before the train comes. Oh, you want some of us to model for you? Hey, if you wanted to step in. <laughs> where, wherever you like. Wherever you feel comfortable. Middle, middle one. Oh, what's that? So I'm just having one, am I? Will, will one not do it? How many do you want? I have all of you. But all in single file. I think that would look great. Would you take a picture of mine if you can? Yeah. I can pop it in my Once, once it's, once, I'll do you guys. There we go. All the way down, right to the bottom. <laughs> just, just make sure if you're behind someone, then push down further because I can't see the person behind you. Sorry, we can't see you. I've got my models. Okay, here's the staggered look before they all come. Just shift from the left and we'll have a diagonal coming all the way down. And that, yeah, that's it. That's my leading line. I'll be, I'll be quick. Thank you. Can I ask a favour, sorry? I'd like to say, 
Yeah, sorry, thank you. We'll do a couple more again then. You're my granddad, isn't it? I look like his granddad. This is what happens when you do a vlog and people get involved. <laughs> We're doing leading lines, okay? Oh, should we do it as a video? Yeah. So, so you want you start at the bottom. But it's not easy with a shelf, I'll be honest. Keep the pose right. until yeah, 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 the last yeah. one is done. Okay, all okay. right. Right, it's okay, recording. So, so right, ready, right, ready, ready go. Next. <laughs> Good. Although oh, I didn't funny. get any photographs. So That's fine. Sorry, we'll put it in the video. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect a photo. I didn't expect a photo. I didn't expect a photo. You've worked on my YouTube channel oh, as well. Have I? You've made my day. What's your YouTube channel? Tudor Smith Photography. Tudor Smith Photography. That's who I am. I'm that photographer. That'll go out of my head. Could you do your day? Thank you. Did you get your day? I did, yeah. Thank you. Oh, excellent. You are very quick. Thank you. Only takes one Just shot, and I had some great subjects. So. Oh, thank you. How about that, eh? Oh, now every leading line will be worthless. Compared to that. So I got the leading line of the bridge, didn't I? Right, I'm going to go to the pier and take a shot above and below. I'll tell you what, that's left me buzzing. I love spontaneity and, you know, when things just happen and come together, photographs might not be brilliant, but the whole experience, <laughs> interacting with those people, the ladies. If any of you ladies watch the channel, then drop me a comment. Let me know where you walked from and where you were walking to. Although, obviously, you were getting on a train. <laughs> Probably going to Sandwich, right? If you're seeing it, then thanks for, um, modeling for me. Okay, I'm at Deal Pier, and again the subject is leading lines. So I've got two options here. Stand right on the top of the pier, where the box thing is, the entrance, and take one long shot all the way down. But equally, we can take a shot from underneath the pier. The tide is out, so I can get right down low at the edge of the water, looking along. So. We'll start at the bottom first. I hate shingle beaches. Whoa. Why can't they all be sand? However, we are here. I'm already seeing lines and lines and lines. Looks great, doesn't it? So the leading line is actually taking us all the way to point infinity. There's actually a boat at the end there. <laughs> It'll probably be gone by the time I set up. My son has borrowed the DJL's my pocket. He wants to do some footage for his his partner's music video. So I'm left with the DJI, but it's, it's working. Right, I'm on my knees here. Now this could be a fabulous fine art photograph because I could use a neutral density filter. Smooth out the water, make it look like glass. The exercise isn't fine art photography today, it's just lines isn't it um, what am i doing here live view i think i was doing for you look at those lines so if i come out of it and get the edges of the here that's 18 we get everything but i want to bring these first two pillars in maybe like that so I'm going to set a couple of shots and done. we're at, shall I close down the aperture to try and get as slow as, the, as, slow as I can get 125th of a second. That's 
zoomed out. Let's lose the two front wheels and just get the next batch in. Just line. There's actually where the water rises, there's a different coloration going all the way down. So I'm going to stand at that level. Because I think I'll have that at that level. And that becomes the central point of the image that's like on the horizon. As you can see, the lines are on the horizon. Lovely stuff. I was trying to work out where the central part of that all was and I might have cocked it up. But we'll go, to, we'll go upstairs. <laughs> There's no elevator so we can't go up there. Let's go up there. Now as I walk up you can see the curves and the curves on the railings. But it kind of doesn't lead to anywhere in particular. So I don't think that makes a good composition. But let's look through here. Okay, so lots of people. Can't quite clearly see the leading lines, can you? As you walk down. Perhaps getting a shot without people in the foreground. With these four people, that looks great. Well, it did look great. But I've got people standing on the right there. Let's see what we've got. At the widest angle of 18. Lift it up a tad. The lines are indistinguishable because of all the people. I suppose coming here very early in the morning. Try and get this current batch. It's the people coming towards me that are kind of obstructing the lines. I'll take a shot from up there. Let's let these people on the left move up there. I do have some leading lines. Interesting. So that was all about man-made leading lines, so the railway lines, the bridge, the pier, everything was man-made, guiding the viewer's eye into the subject at the end, <laughs> if you could say that, with the ladies, the subject. I think I'll try and find some natural leading lines, so lines made by nature. Mm. I'm at St. Margaret's Bay. I'm always at St. Margaret's Bay. I love it down here. It's a great little kind of sanctuary. Are there any leading lines? There's a natural one here, look. We can follow the coast line all the way around, leads us to the cliff. It's just a question of where is the best spot. <laughs> Precariously walking on this thing here. Because I don't have my tripod, I can go handheld. But I get a, a nice curve here. So if I can bring it in, say, from the left-hand line here, the leading line takes the... Oh, should I go down to the edge? You know what? Yes, I should, because I'm here, and I've already sussed that it might be better to take it from the edge of the coastline. And it'd be silly to take the shot from up there, go home, and then realise, actually, that wasn't a leading line, because it didn't take the viewer's eye straight to the cliff edge. My issue is... As I walk down, these, are they groins? These things here, they start to hide the edge of the water line. That being said, I can stand on this and get myself elevated. That's better, it gives me a bit of a leading line. So the main subject is the cliff. It's clouding over now. We don't have the sunshine. 
so it's going to be a bleak photograph however I can still take a leading line image can't I just going to lower this tripod so that I can prop it down on the floor that'll work won't it hi <laughs> Right, let's have a look. There is a nice leading line coming in from the left-hand side. We've got the, the edge of the beach with the waves lapping. Takes us up to the cliff. I can come in a little bit. So it's a strange one because the subject is the cliff. The leading line, I'd like to think, maybe I can come a little further down here, will be the coastline. It does. It takes your eye into the scene. Maybe if I bring it a little more to the right here like that and have some negative space on the left of the image. Don't even know if that's in focus. I hope it was. Yeah, yeah, that'll work. Right, aperture priority. I can keep it at f11. I can have 100 ISO. Gives me a 30th of a second and that's fine. Because I've got vibra vibration reduction on. I can see I can see the beach huts. They themselves are a leading line, but there's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. <laughs> they lead to nowhere, so I'm going to exclude the beach huts for now. I'm just going to do the beach. Turn my polarizer to get some enhancement on the clouds. So that was a natural leading line. Um, I think I've got one more to look at. Let's go there now. Okay, one more to complete the um, leading lines escapade. <laughs> Sounds like I've got a dog over there. I got this country lane. It's really lovely. I love this kind of thing. And what it is for me is the wall. I love walls. I don't know what it is. And so they've got this lovely curve going round. And I think the best way to do it, God, tell you what, landscape photography, any type of photography, and getting old. <laughs> it's getting on your knees. It's, it's the curve in the road. It's a leading line. The, the wall coming from here is my leading line going all the way down. I've got another one taking me. It's taking me round the bend. And if I go to a little to the right, because it's all about aspects, I lose that white wall, which I don't want in the shot. So I'm gonna move over into the middle here. So it's kind of me putting myself in the middle of the road. It's dark. F11, and let's go to F16. And I bump the ISO up so that I can get a 30th of a second. Very nice. Mostly man-made and a little bit of natural leading lines. But there's, there's leading lines in so many different things. Actually thinking about it and considering it in your composition, just to make your image a little more dynamic. Now, if I wanted to do, you know, some fine art or a really special image, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be vlogging it, would I? I'd go out and find the location, scout the location out, know where the sun is setting for instance and capture a sunset but with a leading line in it to draw the viewer's eye into the sun setting that kind of thing but it's a good exercise it's just another um thing to put in your cannon isn't it Ooh, there's the dog that says yes i can do rule of thirds yes i can adjust my lighting and i can do all of those things but now i can actually think about leading lines in the image and the more you do it the less you actually start thinking about it you just see it just 
Road, St Margaret's Bay. I did a really fascinating walk here. I'll put a link up on the left there. Um, World War II relics, put it on my other channel. So, um, you know, you can come around St Margaret's with me for a walk if you want to watch that video. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching. And the sun's going out now. There's clouds coming over. I'll see you in another video. Bye for now.